Hey guys, this is Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor, and today we are in Gotha in a brand new Taylor Morrison community called Fire Creek. Now this is the Humboldt home floor plan behind us. It is a four bedroom, five bathroom, three car garage. Now typically it's 3,500 square feet, but with the bonus room, the way this home is shown today, and I'm gonna show it to you today, it's 3,900 square feet. Now keep in mind, in this community, all the floor plans have a 100 foot wide lot size. So that is amazing. It's a luxury community. Now, at time of video, the model home is $1.6 million, right? With an HOA of 279 per month and no CDD. This community also offers floor plans ranging from 3,000 to 5,500 square feet. So you can get a big home near Windermere and Gotha, which is amazing because right now, other than custom homes, this is pretty much your only option. Now, again, this is the only style of community you have in this area. It is a great home and this is called the Humboldt. So stay with me, press the subscribe and like down below and let's go take a look at this house. All right guys, so here we are at the Humboldt and as you can tell, this is the model center right now for the reps, but this is your two car garage side of the home. Love the coach lighting, the modern look on it, but this is your side garage that makes a three car garage here. Now this part I really love. So you see there's no real door to the house. It's just kind of like a gate. Check this out guys, as you come in and you have a doorbell here, you open this up into your own private courtyard. Amazing. So lots of privacy when it comes to these homes, right? And I love that there's so much privacy here, the extra sense of security as it blocks off the front of the home. You have windows here that enter the uh, guest wing of the home for natural lighting and then the front that'll enter the uh, formal dining room space, but you also have patio furniture out here, flowers and pots that you can put up, more coach lighting. It's just a nice hangout spot, and it's different from just being in the back of the home all the time. So come on in, guys. Come check this home with us. Of course, you have your combo lock here with your handle, and then you have the glass slats that enter this gorgeous home. And then as you come into this home, it opens all the way up. Look at this home, guys. So where do we start? <laughs> We're gonna leave the guest wing. Actually, you know what? Let's start to the right of the home. I'm gonna go this way and to the right of the home, just to get it out the way, we have the domestic suite, which is set aside from the rest of the rooms of the home. And you'll see why, that's very nice. As you come through the guest wing of the home, you see that we have stairs here to the left, but you also have your flex room office area here with the high 10 foot ceilings, two windows for natural lighting. And you can tell there's lots of furniture in this room to fit in. It's not just a small little cubby media space or flex space. You can fit lots of appropriate furniture for your needs. Now, those three windows are right behind here. As you could tell, we have a drop and stop right here and why we have a drop and stop is because we have your one car garage here that makes a three car garage right here they have stuff in here but this was what i like to call the weekend car this is where you put your ferrari or your porsche nobody touches that until the weekend <laughs> we have the guest suite here which is an ensuite of course and again the, the tray ceilings or the high ceilings 10 foot ceilings follow us in with the crown molding. We also have two windows for natural light, right? And you can tell right here. And then we have a walk-in closet with a window out front for natural lighting. But what makes it a uh, ensuite is right here in the corner, you have a full service bathroom for this bedroom with the shower, the vanity, and everything else. Window for natural lighting and the towel go all the way up, which is very nice. All right, guys, now, we're gonna be bouncing around because this home has a open middle and pockets everywhere. So right now, I'm gonna take you upstairs to show you the gorgeous loft space. All right guys, so here we are in the upstairs loft area. Now let me explain to you. Now typically without this area being added to the build of your home, we're at 3,500 square feet. With this area adds an additional 400 square foot of loft space, which gives you, you know, media room, theater room, entertainment area, playroom, anything you might need, right? So if you come up through your stairs right here, 
which is amazing. I love the bay windows here because it gives you natural light through the stairway. It's not like a dark area. Love that. Now, guys, look at this. It opens all the way up. And you have a small little notch out area. So if you're a big poker player, you needed a poker table, this would be the area for that, right? Look guys, oversized couch for that media right here in the middle of the room. Big, I would go for a bigger TV, but hey, that's just me, right? And over here to the side, you have a closet to store your game boards, your video games, whatever this needs are for this home. You can store it in that closet. But what it really intrigues me is the full service bathroom you get here with this home. And that is awesome because say you have a big wedding party, a family reunion, you know, where you're gonna have a lot of guests, you can have pull out couches here. They can sleep up here and still utilize a bathroom without going downstairs, amazing. Now look at the windows. Love the texture of the windows. You have these two windows with those, um, like storm shutter slats right above it. And then you have the three long gated windows here that give all this light flushing into the room. Love that. Now guys, I told you we're gonna jump around today. I'm gonna go downstairs now, show you the rest of this gorgeous home. All right, back downstairs in the guest area, right? Or the guest wing. And we're gonna come back past the domestic suite, back to the front of the home as we open up. Now I gotta explain, look up guys, we have different textures of ceiling in the home. Now, where you're at in the guest suite area, you have uh, about nine and a half, 10 foot ceilings. You bump out here to the foyer area and it's about 12 feet, especially here where the formal dining area is here. And then the great room has a tray ceiling that bumps out to 14 feet with crown molding, all right? So I just wanna explain the textures of ce uh, ceiling height we have. But here we are in the formal dining area. I can see a longer table here to, you know, Thanksgiving, you know, Easter, when the family comes over to eat, any, any, anything that pertains to that. Enough space for a cadenza, mirror, but the two windows for natural lighting are very nice. And I love the bumped out ceiling here as well. We're gonna save this area for a minute and we're gonna move in to your great room. This is one of the utility closets real quick. Right, so there's your AC. But guys, here is your great room. Now I love how big this wall is. Needs a bigger TV again, but here is the great room with lots of space, as you can tell. And look at that ceiling height, 14 feet up. Gives you a grand sense of feel when you sit in this home. It is amazing. Now, guys, we have the pocket doors and you're gonna hear some water. The sliding pocket doors are great to open up the home to the back space, right? And I just wanna point out, you have a side door here and another side door all the way in the back over here. We'll show you that in a minute. Now you have this covered lanai, right? Where everyone can sit, enjoy the weather when it's really nice, right? Have some iced tea. But we also have the outdoor kitchen, which is amazing. So we have the sink, the grill, right? And the uh, range cover here with a refrigerator and utility spaces on the bottom. Now the pool does not come with the home, but this gives you an idea of what you can do with the type of space that you have for this home. And you can see lots of patio space that you can fit, but I just wanna show you the other side door that leads to the other side of the home right here where Mr. Mike Self is enjoying a sunny day here in Florida, right? And here's your other side door and we'll show you that from the interior version of this video. So let's head back through the great room and we're gonna cut off this noise by shutting down this door. As you can see, You wanna keep that air conditioned space, air conditioned, right? And we're gonna hit the kitchen in a minute, but what we're gonna do is head back this way through the great room into this little pocket area here. And it's like a little hallway. And you step in 
to your owner's retreat. Now, why is this an owner's retreat? Well, you have your bed here, your oversized furniture, your wall bumps out to 12 feet with the tray ceiling, but you can fit a living room set in this corner of the room. This is amazing. So you have the three windows for natural lighting, your entertainment wall here. You could have coffee table, dining room spaces, couches. It's, it's just great to have some nightlight TV watching before bed. And here is your side door into your patio lanai. Again, so if you want a coffee out there in the morning, that is something you can do. We move into our owner's bath retreat where we come upon the first vanity set here with the quartz and this decorative um, door sets, cabinetry, which is nice. We have the window, I mean, I'm sorry, the mirrors and appendant lighting. But what I love is your port window here, this large port window with your freestanding tub in between the vanity sets here, which is very nice. Now guys, look at this shower. If you, the wife, and the kids wanna take a shower together, this is the shower for you. This is a grand shower. Look at this, with a glass wall, you have two textures of tile here, which I love. You have the, the um, shower heads here as well, high ceiling, and you have the knobs here with a small bench on the side. Love it. We have our commode room here. And directly to the left of that, we have our walk-in closet, which is huge. We have those wood slats that make up the closet. Now, come with me, guys, because we have more for, <laughs> for this house. As I told you, it's spread out. And then you can hear the music in the background if you can. And that's because there's speaker sets in the ceilings. Guys, as we pass our great room, we come upon our gourmet kitchen. Guys, look at how great this is. This is a huge island, at least 12 by six at minimum, right? We have our touch water set here is by finger touch. That's great, I love that. You have our filtered water, ceramic sink. We have our dishwasher here, right? We have our pullout for our trash bins and just nice little utility drawers all over this island set. And it wraps around so where the chairs are, there are more um, storage areas as well. Let's talk about the cabinetry, starting on this side. So we have our cabinets with our double stack display cabinets. That's where you put the fine china so it can be displayed for everyone. But we also have our Dutch oven here with a digital display and then our standard oven. Now this is a gas community, so this is all gas powered, right? 42 inch cabinets, more display cases. So there's no wasted space in between the ceiling and the cabinet space, everything is used. We have our gas range here, right? With our decorative range hood here that takes the smells away from the home. So if you're cooking fish or anything like that, we're getting it out of here. More of the 42 inch cabinets. Now we have our sub zero fridge here. Stainless steel appliances, of course. And then we have our serving station here and I love how the microwave is not set upon the rest of the kitchen um, appliances. It stands on its own here. Very nice. With more cabinetry. And this is where you put your coffee or serving areas here. Very, very nice. One more step through here where our pantry is. Now, aside from our pantry, we do have a butler's pantry with display cases here. That's very nice for someone who likes wine glasses and to show off your unique wine glass collection. But we do have the wine fridge and more cabinetry here. And this is smart for the kids when they come out of school, have some serving um, treats out for them. But we do have a good large pantry space with wooden shelves. 
Very nice. And what we're gonna do, guys, is come this way because we're gonna show you the Jack and Jill setup. So this is our first, hold on, before we go through here, because we can't come back, we do have our drop and stop here with our two car garage here. Now they're using that as a printer, but you can tell, you know, you wanna drop your keys, your book bags, sweaters, jackets, that can all go here. Now we go into our Jack and Jill, the first set of our Jack and Jill bedroom. Look how big this room is. We have a window for natural lighting, gray size room, 10 foot ceilings, of course. And I love how these rooms are set up and service for this home as there's a designated area for the children. This is great. So as you come, and what I mean by that is you come to your first vanity set in this cubby hole here, but there's the mirror, pendant lighting and cabinetry, but then you have a walk-in closet here, right? As you push through the first door set, you have a wooden wardrobe here, Oop. and you have your commode up against this window, and a tub set with tile all the way up with two Listellos, very nice. And then you flush in to your second vanity set that serves the second bedroom here with another walk-in closet, which is a little bit bigger. So everyone has their vanities and their shared bathrooms. And here is the second bedroom set of this Jack and Jill set here. And you can tell there's enough room for a desk. Here's a window for natural lighting, 10 foot ceilings again, enough for the bedroom and nice stand, even a chair, lots of space in this home. But what I love is if the first bathroom set is full or somebody's using it, there is a second bathroom that can be doubled as a pool bathroom here with a shower with towel all the way up there and a window for natural lighting. And why I say this could be doubled as a pool bath is because you have a linen closet here for towels, and then you have that side door that leads to the pool area. So again, it could be doubled as a pool bath slash Jack and Jill uh, supplement bathroom. Guys, now we walk back out to the kitchen area where we have our breakfast nook here and I love how we have five windows lining the side of the kitchen, flooding all that light in. Very nice, and, and what it does is it centralizes the important parts of the home for the family, so the kids could come around both sides, meet up in the kitchen, or the back of the home areas, or your great room. That is a great, great design. But I have a couple more words for you before we end this video. So stay tuned and I'll talk to you in a minute. All right, guys, did you love this home? Is this home the one for you and your family? A great luxury style home with a great loft upstairs? Then give me a call, 407-790-0929. This is Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando real estate agent. And I'll see you guys on the next video.